Put the tent in its bag. And in here, we've got the inner, the fly, the pole system, and the tent pegs. So now I'm going to show you how to erect the copper spur. Basically, you start with the inner, which you lay out like this on the ground sheet, and then peg out each of the four corners like this with tent pegs. You then need to assemble the tent pole system like this. We then assemble each of the four corners of the pole system into these brass buckles. So that's the rear one. And now we assemble the other end. We then take the inner and attach it to the pole system using these clips. In order to support the bigger vestibule on the copper spur, there's this additional tent pole that goes across the top that fits in on either side like that. The fly then clips into each of the four corners using these buckles and you'll notice that they're colour coded so the ones at one end are green and the other end are black to make it easier to get the fly the right way around when you assemble it. So that's the fourth corner now attached. Now, if you remember that cross pole that we looked at earlier, that then fits into these pockets. We can now tension down the fly using these buckles that are on each of the four corners. We then pull out each of the vestibules and using a peg, fix those in position. Now at this stage we haven't attached any of the guys and yet the tent is already quite stable. So the guys have all been attached now and now we've got a very, very rigid tent. The only thing left to do now is we've actually got these spaces here that are used for holding these areas apart to improve the ventilation. Now the reason you'd buy the copper spur over, say, the Cedars SL2 is the vestibules on this tent because basically this is a side entry tent with a vestibule on each side so you each get your own entrance and the vestibule is really quite substantial because of this additional pole that enables the top of the vestibule to be positioned considerably far away from the tent itself. Now you'll notice that once I'm inside the headroom in here is very generous it's a good 10 inches here above my head. The width of the tent is also very generous. It's easy to see that there's stacks of room in here for two people. And the other thing I'd like to point out is that the tent here is coming down almost vertically, which means that with some other tents that come down at a shallow angle, you can't actually go anywhere near the corners without coming in contact with the tent. Here, I can use the tent throughout the entire length. Now I'm five foot ten, you can see my feet are right up to one end of the tent. And up here where my head is, I've again got stacks of room, so it's very easy to see why this tent is suitable for someone who's six foot six tall. We know from the tent from this angle, then you've got a good indication of the size of the two vestibules on the copper spur. So that's a two-person version of the B Agnes copper spur, a tent that's very room inside to other ones in the range, what's most important about it is the fact you've got two gigantic vestibules and each person has their own entrance.